welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Brought down at the 32. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. It's the tailback. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. There was simply no daylight on that play. The defender came in and dropped the hammer. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 32. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. He gets rid of this one. From their own 44-yard line, second down. Loss of two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Six man. Check curls, check curls, check the quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. He's tackled at the 38. Man, that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. From the 38-yard line, first down. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Takes the ball right. Nice run to the outside. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Run left, and he's taken down in the backfield. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. It's the ninth play of the drive. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Short pass, middle of the field. Brought down around the 10-yard line. Not a real fancy play here. Just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From the 10-yard line, first down. He's on the run. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That'll make it second and four. It's the 11th play of the drive. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Room around the corner. And they're in. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. 
It was an 11 play, 68 yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score, seven nothing. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Houston takes it to 14. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Hawthorne's a guy that knows that he's going to have to carry his load today as well as some of his teammates out there because this is a tough spot. He's been there before, but not everybody has been. I think patience will be the big word for him today. I, you know, as a, as a talented wide receiver, you're playing on the road. You want, a, you want the ball in your hands. You want a chance to make a difference in this game. And if they start off a little bit slow, he's got to be patient and let the game come to him and be a tremendous leader and eventually allow this offense to execute and be able to win this game in a tough environment. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He scrambled. He's at the 30, and they make the stop around the 27-yard line. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27. Now he tries to buy some time. Dives for extra yardage. The 16-yard line. From the 16-yard line, it's second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Tackle at the 13. comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Richardson ready to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. run there by the tailback and it's good for the first solid five yards pickup he was almost able to get to the secondary but as it is he still manages to move the sticks quick strike to the receiver and he's taken down at the 27. So at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. 
And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. And he throws it away. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. throws right away. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. This will make it a field goal game. It has the distance and he just drilled it from long range. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Durbin fields it at the 18. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And down he goes at the 48. Second Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. First down. that needs immediately tackle behind the line. And they'll lose a yard there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From the 47-yard line, second down. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's at the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. This was a great call. From here, it looked like the defense was fooled and reacted a little bit late to the screen. From the 27-yard line, first down. throws it away. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. And they'll probably try to throw here. They line up on third down and 14. He's going to try and scramble. He heaves it to the end zone. This is for the tie. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it's good. They line up to kick this one away. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at about the 29 yard line. That brings up second and nine.
We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 29-yard line. He's on the run. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. Six-yard line. From the 36-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 33. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. yard line they'll line up with five wide receivers he steps out at the 24 a quarterback in the gun with five receivers he's scrambling Scramble gets them seven yards. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. run to the left there. Good yardage there on the option. Outstanding play. Well executed. Here it is. Third down and they come up big on the run. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Gets to about the eight yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. From the eight yard line. It's second down. Fights forward to about the seven. Fires quickly to the fullback. He's tackled around the five-yard line. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. This to try to put his team up by a field goal. it up and the field goal is good and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff he really got a hold of that kick in a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions back with a carry he makes it to the 28 yard line a tight first half of football and we head to the break the score here at texas memorial stadium is the lions 13 the rams 10 glad to have you with us in the studio for the ea sports ncaa football 14 halftime show presented by nissan innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. 
Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced, David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. And, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know. Something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Fires quickly to the tight end, and he is drilled at the 47. First down. He scrambles. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Quick throw. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. They're not quite in field goal range, so this is a pretty important play on this drive. Makes it out to about the 33. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. He guns it right side. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. That makes it first and goal. is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. This is the eighth play of this drive. Dives forward. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. Third and goal for the lead. Touchdown. A 
short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. And the good news for this offense is they took the lead back. But the bad news is that the other offense is more than capable of putting points up on the board as well. And he converts the extra point. Richardson is lined up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He fights forward to about the 26. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Just throws this one away. From their own 37-yard line. It's second down. Caught out in the open. He's at midfield. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. down 10 yards to go ball on the 43 yard line and he carries the ball for a nice game And they make the stop at the 23-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Here's the eighth play of the series. again the five and he's in the end zone touchdown he's got two touchdowns on the ground today he's stepping up in a tight game you need your playmakers to shine when it's a close ball game so the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point he splits the uprights with the extra point Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Yeah, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. From their own 26 yard line. Second down. Fires across the middle. Tackle made the 37 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Mike 
They come out on an empty backfield. Fires out to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds around the 48-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. And down he goes around the 50-yard line. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. The score here in Austin is the Lions 20, the Rams 17. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. They come out in a five-wide set. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Has some daylight. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. It's the ninth play of the drive. He's going to try and scramble. He's brought down in the open field. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. run up the middle. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense, and look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out, and he's tackled right around the two-yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Two yards to the end zone. Less than three minutes in the game. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That makes it third and goal. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. It's a great call here inside the five-yard line. The defense took away the quarterback, a great read, and the tailback ends up in the end zone for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. As the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. <laughs> 
That's a great tackle at the 15-yard line. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. He goes out of bounds at the 18. Third down and a mile, and this is going to be hard to convert here. Just over two minutes in the game. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Quick pass. tackles him hard at the 19-yard line. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He fights forward to about the 16. Three-yard gain by the running back. Not much gained on that play because this safety did a wonderful job of getting up there and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. And they got him for a loss. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Under heavy pressure. Steps up in the pocket and sacked. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. Now. And he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under two to go in the game. Quick strike, and he drops it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. in this game in the fourth quarter. This third and long is huge. Fires out to his wide out. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. He's tackled at the 41. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires it out. And a huge touchdown play.
They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. Under a minute left in the game. And he converts the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. The score nodded at 27. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. you got to hurry here, but you don't want to rush things and make a critical mistake. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. There's a strike complete. Tackle at the 23. because this game is heading to overtime. Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 15. It's first and ten. Ball on the 15. Quick throw out to the receiver. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. to him before he could get back to the line. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the five. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop around the three-yard line. I think he saw the pressure was coming. He tried to make a play as a quarterback, and I can understand that. But eventually, you've got to be able to get rid of the football before you take a sack. That is a minus for the quarterback. The kicker will line up and try to get the first points in this overtime. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Inside the 10. He gets to about the 5.
quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And down he goes. Right around the eight-yard line. From the eight-yard line, second down. Off play action. Now he's on the move. Tackle made at about the three-yard line. That makes his third and goal. Kicker comes on and tries to send this to another overtime. Kicks away, and it is good. Both offenses did well responding to the early pressure of overtime. Now we'll see who can play better defense. two-yard line. Second down. He's going to try and scramble. It's on the ground, and the defense is on it. down and he's in some pain right now we've got a first and ten ball on the 25 yard line she had a couple of freight trains coming at him but when they blitzed it created a hole in the coverage and they took advantage of have the capability to gain solid consistent yardage they have to regroup come out a bit more motivated next time from the 13 yard line it's second down straight run here and he's got nowhere to go that took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield. Here we go, here we go. 35, watch 35. He guns it to the right. It falls incomplete. Good effort there by the receiver, but just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, the Rams, 36, the Lions, 30. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.